Hello everybody and welcome to Star Wars on High. Thank you for stopping by. We are back with my attempt to capitalize off of the success of my last video, the Din vs. Din season finale theory that you all ate up. Seriously, you took it and ran with it. It nearly got 10,000 views and I could not be more grateful. Seriously, thank you all so much. That's the most views I've ever gotten on a video that I've made by myself, so it's a really cool feeling. But now that Mando Season 3 has come and gone, I wanted to tackle another theory that's been going around. The Gideon clone theory that I think is absolutely absurd. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, in Seasons 1 and 2, Moff Gideon had a mustache. But in Season 3, he doesn't. The clones that we saw in the finale also did not have mustaches, so clearly this has to be a clone and Gideon will return. Well, wrong. Completely wrong. And my reasoning is as follows. Right before the big fight between Din and Gideon, Gideon says, and I quote, My clones were finally going to be perfect. The best part of me, but improved by adding the one thing I never had. The Force. I was isolating the potential to wield the Force and incorporate it into an unstoppable army, and you smothered them before they could draw their first breath. And feel free to fight with me in the comments on whether or not he was successful in doing that, but I feel that if this was a clone of Gideon, he at one point would have used the Force in this fight like he had just mentioned. That aside, I really think Gideon is truly dead. I think his time is done, and the character had served its purpose, because there is a new threat that is going to come about, that of course being Grand Admiral Thrawn. Sure, we didn't see him in the season finale, but he definitely was mentioned a whole lot, but that's because he's going to be introduced in the Ahsoka series coming out in August. And I think that will have a better setup for what Din and Grogu will be up to in Mando season 4. Sure, we already know that he's going to be doing some freelancing work for the New Republic, but it's going to lead to Thrawn. Just as I predicted in my original Heir to the Empire video, where I stated that Disney was going to remake Heir to the Empire, which I happen to be right about, so that's another win for me. But altogether, let me know what you all think about this Gideon theory, and if there's any way this could have been a clone. But as always, thank you to everyone who stuck around to this point in the video, and we hope to see you again very soon.